told, this is something I've been doing since I was a kid. We are below DuPont Circle in the tunnels that used to be the trolley tunnels, um, documenting. It opened, it was built in 1906 and closed in 57. And the uh, story was that they were going on strike and the company told them if they went on strike, they would uh, close it up. The, everything's still there. That's why their shoes are still there and their umbrellas. And So this is a ledger that's showing payroll in February 1920. And most of the people that worked here were women. They were wives of the miners. And if you look at, say, um, Edith Lee, she worked 98 or yeah, 98 hours in a two-week period, and her pay was thirty dollars and sixty-three cents. You know, I'd drive by an abandoned building and just uh, couldn't keep my eyes off of it. Just watch as it went by in the car. And... It was sort of an underground information channel that people pass locations. A lot of locations have aliases and. You learn from other explorers where things are, but very often you just have to go out and look. I've walked up to a lot of buildings parked out front and sat there and looked around for a little bit and got noticed by security and said, hi, who owns this? Who can I talk to about getting in? nothing to see. Why would you want to go in there? There's asbestos. It's unsafe. It's falling apart. There's mold. Um, and it's kind of hard to explain to, to somebody who already doesn't uh, seem very amenable to your request. A lot of people who do feel there's more credibility in the illegal access. And, um, you know, I've always felt that if you can get legal access, you know, a lot of the times when we have had legal access, the people who are letting us in have never been in the building themselves. There's definitely an adrenaline rush that you get when you infiltrate a place that's off limits. Just human nature to be, to be doing something that has a little bit of, a little element of the forbidden. We can't resist that, it's exciting. discovering, documenting, and preserving the past. So however, whatever you have to do to make that happen, it doesn't matter how you get there. <laughs>